All right, everybody. We are back for day two of the weekly challenge, and I'm playing a an ACBL instant tournament, 12 boards, match points. We're doing okay. I think we're behind a guy named Laser who had an amazing uh, bunch of overtricks on a certain contract, and you can go back and take a look at yesterday's video uh, or you know the, the previously numbered video if you're watching way past it uh, and see what we did there. But here we're on day two. In good position, and we have an easy one no trump overcall. This overcall range, let me just make sure you guys know, is 15 to 18 balanced. We are not opening the bidding because our right hand opponent here, our East player, has overcalled one club in front of us. So this is 15 to 18 balanced, and it just does one more thing that our normal no trump doesn't, and that is it shows a stopper in the suit that the opponents have opened, right? So this should be what the robot thinks it is. Yep. One point higher on the top end just to give us some flexibility. Partner, now we'll play all of our systems on. So everything we played over our no Trump, no Trump opening bids will be played here. And that is statement, folks. They're asking us for a four-card major. And now they're inviting us to game. I mean, I'm in. Uh, I I have a maximum, right? Do I have 17 on this hand? 6, 10, 11, 15, I have 17. So here, partner's saying to us two things. They're not sure if we have game. Are we on the high end or the low end? And also, we're playing in spades, right? They did not give us a choice of anywhere else. So here we're playing spades, and clearly we are accepting. And honestly, these hands are usually pretty good because we're going to have a decent read on where the values are. And let me tell you what I'm talking about. We have 17. Our partner has exactly nine. Partner made a mistake on this hand, and we'll talk about it in a moment. But let's take a look. That's 26. Let's give this player their opening bid, which is their minimum. That's 12. That's 38 points, folks. We kind of know where everything is on this end. Really important to understand that our partner has done something terrible. They bid stamen. This is not a stamen hand. Never bid stamen when you are 4, 3, 3, 3. In any way, right? You could be 3, 4, 3, 3. 43333. Three, three. Do not bid stamen with this hand. You are sitting across from a balanced no trump hand. When you're flat, guess what? You don't have any benefit to playing in a suit. Right? So you do not need to deal with this. In fact, this is really bad for business. No trump would be much a much easier make in this situation. And uh, we're going to kind of play this like a no trump contract and hope we can take 10 tricks. Uh, here, I'm very, I'm pretty confident that the ace and king of hearts are both to my right. Um, I could, <laughs> and of course we have now diamond losers. Okay, so let's go with this. And we're going to end in dummy so we can lead a club towards our hand. And I'm going to play the eight of clubs. Boom. And we're unblocking now so we can finesse this club if we need to. That's the king and ace of hearts. Let's go. We know lefty can't have the ace of hearts. So there's no way righty opens the bidding without that. And now we just have the rest, folks. Wow. We escaped. We escaped with a bad statement bid, folks. Now, this is the rule of the day. Don't bid statement with that north hand. It's bad, 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 bad. Never, ever, ever. When you are flat, you have to remember your partner is completely balanced, right? So you do not need to be playing in a suit in fact you don't gain anything at all it plays the same way we played a no trump contract just now you notice i drew all the trump i drew four rounds of trump and i ran to see if i could get nine tricks that's how this is going to work folks so here luckily the robot is at play at every other table so he's he's boning everybody else as well so here we're we're happy to be in this spot uh ooh, 16 all right we'll, we'll open a no trump here take that take that Two spades. The, this the, don't ever play any robot agreements in your normal bridge lives, okay? <laughs> this is minus. I mean, I kind of want to bid three diamonds with this hand. I would have an amazing hand for diamonds if they want to play. Uh, but uh, that that three spade bid. Let me let me tell you what happened, folks. Before we start, and I'm just gonna flash the auction back up here. Sorry, I, I went through this too quickly. I should have paused for a moment. First of all. If you want an expert standard kind of normal way to to deal with your minor suits, I, I will link a lesson on this on this uh, video for you guys to take a look at if you want to. It's a relatively cheap lesson that'll that'll show you how to deal with your minor suits the expert standard way. This is not the way. However, 
it, it, there are a lot of similarities. And, and what happened here was my partner said, hey, I have both minors. Tell me about if you have any interest. And to be fair, my hand's amazing, especially if my partner's not short in spades. My hand is amazing for a diamond contract. Uh, so I, I showed diamonds. Partners three spade bid now says I have shortness. Now, we're never going to mess around with minor suits if we have a four card or longer major. So this can never be, hey, I had diamonds and I have spades. No, this is, I have shortness in spades. And for us, that's terrible, right? We have nine points in spades. We would much prefer all those points be elsewhere to be excited for diamonds. However, it makes no trump an easy choice, right? So we're gonna, we bid three no trump and that's where we're gonna play it. And our partner's gonna let us play it there. And here we are loving it, except, you know, we're, we might have a little bit of an issue with that, uh, that heart suit, if this finesse loses, we're going to take this finesse, though. And I'm, I'm playing the nine for my hand so I can stay in my hand. Uh, here, predictably, though, they, they are leading their, uh, their spade suit. So wait, we started with one spade and no. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see. That's 10. That's 11. All right. So now we're just going to keep track of spades. I, I want to show you how many. I know I'm going to run a bunch of diamonds. And I'm going to end up with some clubs and a heart, maybe. But the spade suit is possibly okay for us, right? And it's dividing relatively evenly right now. So the way I've just done this is I started with five spades between both of my hands and the dummy, mine and the dummy. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There are two spades left. Let's see if we find them because there's no way I'm going to know if that six of spades is good unless I see two spades get thrown. There's a club. We like that. Any club pitch is good for us as well, right? Because that dummy has a really nice club suit. No spades have been pitched just yet. We're going to hold on to the spade, though, just in case. No spades have been pitched yet either. So now we just play some clubs. And do are, are we getting the dream here? No. Okay. And now, guess what? Clubs didn't uh, develop any tricks. So let's play some hearts now. Uh, this is the only choice we have. <laughs> we could play low, uh, but uh, that's not going to work either. And that goes uh, some, whatever trick is to our left is to our left there. All right, 46.4%. That is not the greatest, but that's not the worst. Just like we were talking about as we left yesterday, being kind of with the field here. And one, one group made four. How'd you do it? How'd you do it? Spade to the king, diamond to the jack. Whoa, you just let a heart from dummy right there. That's super weird. And it worked out quite well. And it went heart, heart. And then there, there's your 10th trick when you get to create the king of hearts. That's risky. Uh, that's just one one representation of who played it that way. Not necessarily what everyone else did. But, again, happy to kind of be smack dab in the middle of the field there. Didn't lose any places. We're still in second place. And we are looking at the last chance to excel for today's set, which is this hand. We are not going to stretch. We're not far enough behind to upgrade this to a one no trump bid. Uh, this time, though, I'm going to show you the robot doesn't love this or doesn't play it this way, but we do as normal human beings. When we're relatively balanced, we're going to default to bidding one no trump instead of one spade when we have this situation. And that's exactly what I've done here. Uh, I don't mind this lead, to be honest. Uh, usually you would think Lefty has one or both of these cards. To be fair, they probably have neither of them. This is kind of just the way they work. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, so we'll play that. Um, I'm going to want to play some diamonds first. I would love to transport over to dummy to play a diamond to my hand, folks. I would really love to do that. I just don't have a good way to do that without playing my queen of hearts right now also. All right, I, would, I want to take three heart tricks or more if possible, but definitely three. So if I wanted to get over to dummy, the only way I can do that is in hearts, which means I now have to unblock my queen of hearts and go over there. So here, playing a diamond from my hand just to get the ball rolling in this suit. Now, I don't I don't hate when they lead a spade. And also the six, that's not too bad for us. And there comes a spade back. Okay, so I'm going to pitch. Uh, I might as well pitch a heart. It's very unlikely that's going to develop into a trick. Is my five of spades good? I don't think so. I think the eight is out there. I think the eight is out there. <laughs> uh, I mean, how bad could a spade lead be right now? We could play a spade and pitch a club. What would they do? Maybe they get the clubs rolling and it's bad for us. 
Um, I am going to create a diamond trade. And I'm going to do so just by playing the queen and then exiting the nine of diamonds. I'm going to play the ten over there just in case that's relevant. Low club. So I, we're making one, it looks like. And uh, yeah, there we go. We might make more. No, we can't make more. We have no chance to make more. We're going to take our tricks. We're happy we developed a seventh trick. The clubs look like they were whatever. The ace, is, the ace is probably to our left, but if it's not, we could have taken more tricks in this spot. Yeah, thank goodness. Okay. Uh, terrible score, though. Only, only 90 for 21.4%. Looks like we just had many more ways to make more tricks, and we did not realize them. So... Here's the start of this. If we had played the queen, that would have certainly done better for us right there. Right? In fact, let's see what those who made two did. There's your opening lead. Ooh, that's why. Ah, I forgot. <laughs> Look at us. We're one of the only people playing it from the south chair. So if you get if you get to play it from the north chair, it goes club. Oh, and now it's just it they break it right open with diamonds. <laughs> Amazing. Little club to the eight and jack. Now all the clubs are good. Wow. All right. Let that be a lesson to you folks. Play robot style and you will do better. That's brutal. I hate that. I, I, honestly, in a in a real bridge game, not a real bridge game, in a, in a duplicate game with a fair amount of experts, you would get a lot of different locations of one no trump. As it turns out, though, Playing it from the North player's side is quite, quite good for you. Playing it from our side, um, we should have been able to do better, clearly. Right? Uh, we, there, there's our first mistake. We went from two over tricks only to one. right? And then later on, I just kind of compressed one more as well. So and it, it came with the diamond play, basically. Uh, once I cashed the queen of diamonds, I'm guessing. Let, let's see here. There it is. <laughs> you went from plus one to to just minus in that and that's or sorry equal making one. All right, because the jack of diamonds is on side. Oh well. All right. I, obviously, we have chances to do better in all the hands we play. Uh, but uh, the moral to the story on that one was the bidding was what kind of got us in the uh, subterranean level. So we have some work to do. We're halfway through. We're fifth place again. Not the worst score. I mean, obviously, we don't love 21.4% on board six. Uh, we'd much be in that 45, even like 39 range, but we'll, we'll take it. We dipped a little low. We're trending in a bad direction. Let's see if we can right the ship tomorrow. And what are we starting with? Let's see. Ooh, all right. That looks kind of interesting. I'll see you then.